Emily Cowles confessed to her crime, and Mr. Updike, unfortunately, was spared the embarrassment of showing up at the auction. However, Emily did get the information to me first. It was to be the largest gem transaction in Chicago history. The auction itself was to be private, but was preceded by a reception where the most exclusive guests were allowed to view the objects of their desire. Oh, uh, 350,000 minimum. Yeah, well, I keep telling you that it is in the glove compartment of the Bentley, and uh, the Bentley... What seems to be the problem? Uh, are you the auctioneer here, Mr... Belloy? Belloy, yes. Are you any relation to Roger Belloy of the Bar Harbor, Belloy? No, I didn't think you were. Well, I appreciate security, Mr. Beloy, as much as the next person. But I must say that uh, simply because I don't have your invitation on my person, I find it rather insulting to have your guards humiliate me. And your name is, sir? Uh, Colworth. Carl Colworth. Any relation to the Woolworths? Distantly, yes. They dealt in wool, we dealt in coal. I happen to be the personal secretary, uh, chauffeur, major domo, etc., of... Uh, Adriana Jennings. Oh, yes, yes. Well, uh, is Mrs. Jennings coming? Well, of course she's not coming, certainly. I assume that a man in your position would be reading the society columns. She's in the Orient, but she has authorized me to attend the auction here and bid for her. Yes, well, I'm sorry, but I don't recall sending an invitation to Mrs. Jennings. Well, of course you don't recall. You never sent it. She was terribly insulted by it. Matter of fact, when she spoke to Mrs. Ludlow, Mrs. Ludlow was absolutely shocked. Mrs. Ludlow is one of our best customers. I'd hate for her to be distressed. Perfectly all right, Below. I have smoothed the ruffled feathers. Thank you, Mr. Coldworth. Coldworth, yes. <clears throat> Perfectly all right. Well, uh... Oh, good evening, Mrs. Ludlow. Good Mrs. evening. Mr. Ludlow. Oh, excuse me. Mrs. Ludlow. Do you know that man? Why aren't you in Yucatan as you're supposed to be, according to the columns? He's a reporter, Carl Kolchak, INS. Oh, yes, of the Hoboken Kolchaks. <laughs> you're to leave here at once. Now, now just, just one moment. You stand a very good chance of being robbed here tonight. Now, you do know 